The Lords are coming off their two toughest games of the season back-to-back -back against Worcester and DePaul. And while they didn't get the outcomes, it's another step forward for Kenyon and men's basketball coach Dan Priest. And, Coach, I know we didn't get the outcomes we sure. wanted last week, but, you know, against DePaul, against Worcester, fairly competitive uh, throughout the majority of that game. And then some uh, shooting woes kind of got the best of us. But, uh, you know, still kind of in the mix uh, in the middle of that NCAC standings where, you know, getting hot maybe at the right time sure. might, might propel us, uh, you know, over the last five yeah, weeks of we the played, season. Yeah, we played fairly well, actually. I mean, we guarded pretty well. We were in, in both the games. Um, Worcester was obviously really good, yeah. ranked, ranked in the country for a reason. But uh, but we had chances kind of late in the game, but we shot it fairly well. We didn't shoot from three. We didn't shoot it very well from the free throw line. We didn't shoot it very well from, from two. But uh, but but we, we were in the game. We played pretty hard. We followed a game plan. And we did it to Paul, too. We guarded really well. They did not shoot a high percentage. Um, we had trouble scoring, and we turned it over you know, constantly. That was, that was our biggest problem, which has been kind of uncharacteristic. We had 20-something turnovers, and it wasn't a pressing game. So that was... That was really challenging for us because we were scoring a little bit, but then we started turning it over, just created too many opportunities for them. So, um, but we're on the right track, I think. If we can keep moving forward, we, we've got we played ten of our first thirteen on the road. Right. That's um, you know we have two at home this week. We have more, uh, you know, a balance of home versus away going down the stretch here, and our league is kind of you know there's a few there at the top that kind of jumbled in the middle that, that a couple wins would make a big difference for us. You just mentioned it, but ten of thirteen to yeah. start on the road. And now five of the next seven are at home, and uh, you know that when you're back at home, you know you're more comfortable with yeah. the rim and the, yeah. and the gym. And you know how important is it for us to you know maybe get in, into a little bit of a groove over these next seven yeah. games? Well, I hope it helps us. You know, no matter whether you play home or away, there's certain things you you have to do. So uh, getting back to the vacation break maybe helps a little bit too, having a little bit of a little bit of energy. But it is, you know, we've only played three, you know, a couple of the neutral site games. We've yeah. only had three, three games, like two of them, uh, two of them in a row, right there before, before break. So uh, I hope it helps us a little bit. But you know, we, there's certain things no matter where we play, we got to play a little bit better. But I think it'll maybe give our guys a little bit of confidence playing at home. You know, you mentioned it earlier. Just to go quickly back to that Paul game, but uh, 37 points. Uh, I don't think I think that's the lowest scoring yeah. total in maybe the last five years by, by my uh, by my research, but. Was it more of their guarding, or just we just weren't hitting our open shots? Yeah, probably everything. You know, we had 21 points at like the eight or nine minute mark of the first half, and didn't score the last eight minutes. Um, and we had like 34 at the 10 minute mark or nine minute mark of the second half, then only scored three more, which is Ethan Shapiro got a basket and a free throw yeah. late in the game. So you know, we did not finish shots at two very well. Um, you know, at two point shots. But they really started to pressure us in the half court, and we just turned it over. We just we didn't get enough shots. Now, when we did, we didn't shoot a really high percentage of it. Tim was just coming back off off of being injured, so he's able to play a little bit. But we just we just didn't make enough shots. But we turned it over and just really didn't get enough looks at the basket. Because when we had that twenty one to five lead, we just then we started turning it over, and then they were scoring and scoring in transition. So that was kind of characteristic, but more so that sure. was that was the the problem for us. And then we we did miss miss open shots too. Let's fast forward to this week. We've got Denison and then Wabash, yeah. and uh, again, you know, we're back at home. Uh, what's kind of our mindset? Uh, you know, getting prepared to you know, get a couple more conference games under our belt and yeah. hopefully pre prevail with some victories. Yeah. You know, we don't talk to the guys too much. Like right now, we just yeah. kind of say wait till February to kind of see where we are in this whole whole mix of teams. But um, I think they know we've played pretty good teams. Like they know, you know, we'll play at home here and that'll hopefully give them a little little bit of energy. And there are two teams that are both similar to us. Wabash has won one more in the league, but still kind of finding their way around a little bit. And so I think our guys feel feel pretty good about themselves. We've kind of had a different problem each game, yeah. but I think they feel, they feel pretty good knowing that we've, we've been in the game with some pretty good, not our last four against against pretty good teams, um, so we just, we just need to you know, find a way to play a little bit better here in the second half, but I think they feel pretty good and Dennis will be, we'll have a pretty good, you know, good atmosphere and a good crowd, so it should be a good night for us. Let's talk about the Big Red, because you look at their schedule, mm -hmm. uh, they, they battled with Worcester, yeah. I know they eventually succumbed to uh, the Fighting Scots, but Ohio Wesleyan, uh, they, they've played some good teams and are, are really in the mix, kind of in that top tier, top three. Yeah, they were. You know, had a chance to beat Ohio Wesleyan in yeah. a two point game, beat DePaul at home. Right. Um, then probably you know lost one or two. They thought they would have back or wish they had back. And then the non conference won won a lot of games, beat Case Western, who's I don't know eight and two, nine and three, something like that. So they have had a lot of a lot of big wins. Um, you know, kind of different. They don't have a 
two five man, but you know, we're kind of big around the board at three, four, and five. So kind of presents some some unique challenges for us. But but playing pretty well. But a big game for them too because they lost at home in a conference game on on Saturday. And then Wabash comes to town on Saturday. What are you expecting out of the Little Giants? Well, they'll be really well coached. Interesting. It's a former player of mine, Coach Number. was a student assistant for us when I had my first assistant job at Hanover. So Kyle's doing a good job. They'll be really really well coached, really sound. And he's got them playing with a little bit of confidence too. They won some non-conference games. And I've won a couple uh, road games in our league, one at Woodburg and one yeah. at Denison. So they're starting to play with some confidence. They play Ohio West same Wednesday. So, you know, they'll, they'll, be, they'll be very sound. So, it's, again, it'll be two, two good games for us, two games we can win. Um, we just have to, have to you know, finish a few more shots and play a little bit better. But we're guarding, and that's, you know, if we can tell the guys to continue to play defense, continue to guard, it'll kind of keep us in the game, and that'll, that'll help us. But both teams will be really well coached, really yeah. sound. So it'll be good games for us. Okay, Coach. All right, uh, fans, uh, on the 14th, tomorrow night, Wednesday at 8 o'clock, the Lords are taking on Denison, and we hope to see you out there. And if not, We'll have live coverage at athletics.kenyon.edu. And the same for this coming Saturday against Wabash. Time to go out of bounds. And a week ago, uh, we had some predictions on the uh, national championship game. The coach took Ohio State. I took Oregon. And uh, Ohio State, you know, minus you know, four turnovers, yeah. absolutely took it to the Ducks. And I don't think anybody really saw that coming. Uh, Third-string quarterback. And yeah. then uh, he's... Uh, Ezekiel the Freak, yeah. Zeke the Freak, yeah. I think was a hashtag going on Twitter the other yeah. night. He goes for about 246 in the trio of touchdowns. What did you think of yeah, the game? Yeah, pretty amazing game. Yeah. I stayed a little past my bedtime, but I stayed up, <laughs> stayed up and stayed up and watched the whole thing. So I, I'm not born and raised in Central Ohio, but I, I spent six years out of the state, or actually 13 years out of the state, kind of became a, a, a fan from afar. So it was, uh, it was good for that, but it was a good game. It was fun to watch. I'm a big college football fan. I spent six years in SEC country, too, so you – uh, learned to appreciate football, so I have a little bit of a little bit of bragging rights to some of my old SEC players and all that. So uh, it, was, it was it was a heck of a game to watch. Absolutely, Coach. I want to thank you for thank your you. time, and uh, we'll catch you next week. We'll bring on a player next week as Perfect. well and uh, review these these two games this week. Thank you. That was head coach Dan Priest. I want to thank him for his time, and then we'll be back next week again, and we'll preview the Lord's next opponents and uh, get a little insight from uh, one of his players. For the head coach, I'm Clayton Kaufman. We'll see you next week on the Dan Priest Show.